Hey everyone, Lawrence from Studio Oak here, and today we're going to be talking about sitemaps, specifically XML sitemaps. So when I'm looking at a new campaign or I'm looking at a new website that I'm working with, one of the first places to look through is the actual sitemap. When I talk about a sitemap, think of it like this. Imagine you're walking into a department store and you've got aisles of different products. Now what if somebody said, hey, look, instead of having to go find those specific products on those aisles by searching through manually, uh, by walking around quite literally with your shopping cart, looking back and forth through the aisles trying to find bread or potatoes or whatever, someone was at the front door and they gave you a map of where every product sat in that store. Wouldn't that be a lot simpler and easier to find the product that you're looking for? Well, that's the kind of same mentality we need to have when we're looking at sitemaps. Sitemaps are a direct way of saying, hey, Google, these are all the URLs on my website. These are the really important ones and these are the, the structure I want you to follow when you're digging through my website. It's a way to just deliver it on a silver platter to Google. How does that look? I'm gonna show you right now. If I go to studiohawk.com.au, my favorite website in the world, and I type in, I'm gonna go through this live right now, sitemap.xml, it should redirect me to my sitemap. This is actually generated through Yoast. Yoast, great plugin for uh, implementing a sitemap really quickly on WordPress. On other platforms, there's different ways of doing it as well, but every single great CMS will have a way of implementing a sitemap. Yoast does a really cool thing where it segments out sitemaps in different ways, depending on what type of post or page you've created. Uh, and it's just a simple way of looking through my website URLs. Now, what's really cool about this is if I take any website in the world and type in slash sitemap, I might be able to find what their sitemap looks like and how they're categorizing their products. And if I find a website that's ranking quite well, it gives me a lot of information of how they thought that out and how effective that's working as well. So if I look through and I found right now, just searching through the, the web, kmot.com.au, a really popular retailer here in Australia, and I typed in slash sitemap, I've found their sitemap, which is really interesting. And I can see that they've got inside those sitemaps, now this is gonna get a little bit inception right now, more sitemaps. So, so we're going a level deep. So this is an index of those. Uh, and if I look through and I grab this, and it says right here, sitemap slash core XML, and I type that in, it's gonna generate a crap ton of URLs because it's a massive website. It's gonna load it up, and this is how Kmart have decided to structure out their sitemap so we can deliver that straight to Google and say, hey, these are all important categories, here are the important products, and this is how fresh and uh, new that we keep this updated. You can see some of these URLs that they've got in here uh, literally have been maybe uploaded in the last day or two. Now I've got my sitemap, I've got that all structured out. I understand how useful it is. How do I get that in Google's hands? Well, Google make it really simple for you. You just need to go into Google Search Console. So if I whack into Google Search Console right here, let's say I go to studio.com.au again, I click here, I go down to index, I click on sitemaps. It's gonna give me the option of actually adding a sitemap to Google Search Console, so it can immediately index that and keep it tracked. So when I'm diving into new websites and working with new clients, sometimes they don't even have Google Search Console installed or <laughs> they don't even have a sitemap installed as well. Such a quick win, such an easy way to get your websites indexed by Google by just adding them in the sitemap and then adding them straight to Google Search Console. So if I wanted Search Console to read my sitemap again, I'll type in sitemap.xml and hit submit. And there we go. Google will periodically process and look for changes and you'll be notified if anything goes wrong with in the future. How helpful are Google when it comes to SEO sometimes? They, they do a great job in terms of the tools uh, like Google Search Console uh, that make it really easy for us to understand what they're looking at in our websites and actually how a website's performing in search. So there you have it. That's what a sitemap is and that's how we submit that straight into Search Console.